way is a way of service. Our way is a, a way of defeating our bad character, bad desires to reach to the threshold of this month, to reach to the threshold of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is the cave of the Divinely Presence, the cave of all realities, the, the qalb and the heart that beats for the entire universe and only Allah teach us this way is a way of adab and manners and that this life of ours of khidmat is that we're not a people who think that we're anything and that people should call us to invite us to be of service. If after 20 years or 30 years of your understanding and you think people should call you to be of service to Sayyidina Muhammad <laughs> you didn't learn anything. You didn't learn tariqah, you just followed your own desire and may have appeared to you as if it was tariqah. Tariqah is to give our life in that way, give our life in that understanding. It's never too much, it's never a burden, it's a ni'mat and grant from Allah that Allah would change you with a different person. If any time you think you've given too much, you did too much, you served too much, this shaitan playing in your heart. That Allah says, no problem, there are thousands of souls waiting right behind you that want to take that position and it's a gift from Allah when He grants the servant to be a servant of service, a servant whom trying to reach to realities, a servant who understands this path is based on manners. And in the ending of Safar entering into Rabbil Awwal all of the Safar teachings you're going to be tested, you're going to be pushed and squeezed. And if all that comes from you is a dog and a dog of bad manners then how can Allah be of use to bad character that just bites and eats its owner? So it means that the qadab, the anger, the bad characteristics when tested is what Allah is looking for. When you exhibit them you failed, you failed miserably. That to be angered, to stay in a state of anger means shaitan is all encompassing around you at that time. To denounce your service, denounce your shaykh, denounce your understanding, shaitan has overtaken you at that time. And that's why the tariqah comes to teach, this is about manners, my life is to be of service. My life is to run for that service, that let me to do it, let me to be of service. Not anyone called me, no, no shaykh ever called me, do you want to make videos for the tariqah? Do you want to put your own money towards these websites until one day people would give donations? Why nobody ever did these things? Because there's nobody wants to step up and say, no I'll cover the websites until Allah sends. I'll cover this, I'll cover that. Everyone think, oh I did, I did too much. But this is a life in which Sahabi were giving their lives to be of service to Sayyidina Muhammad They died in the way and they were looking for death on their way. Here, oh you made me tired for five minutes, what are you doing bothering me so much? Oh, I did this for so many years, why can't I do it now? Why can't I do it now? Because the beginning of your life nobody cared. The middle of your life absolutely nobody cared. I did years of service. Only thing you and I should care for is your last chapter in life, is the only thing Allah is reading. Your first chapter how you came, how you did all these great things, okay who cares? The most important chapter is the last chapter of life, the flavor in which you left this earth. Not that you became tired of everything, you stopped your, 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 your amal, your actions. 
Today you, you, you stop your supporting of milad and, and to, to do anything in the way of Sayyidina Muhammad all day long you run for your work and business and tire yourself like, like a creature running through the jungle. And you could be tired in the way of Sayyidina Muhammad it's the greatest gift that Allah can give to us. Look at seven billion people are not doing it. And couple uh, handfuls of people, 100,000 people on earth are, are real ashiqeen, 124,000 and the students of those 124,000 handful compared to 7 billion or 8 billion people we have on earth. This is a gift from Allah if the person doesn't recognize that's the gift. And this is the gift that Allah enrolled us to live a life of service and don't let shaitan to block your eyes and block your heart and make you to be angered and have bad characteristic because then you begin to lose the vision of its miracle, the immensity of its blessings and its grace. What type of blessings Allah is opening now from tonight all the way until the second or third night after Milad al-Nabi how Allah has ornamented all of paradises, all of stations and realities that can't be even understood. Mawlana Shaykh talked about, Shaykh Adnan in the video we posted, 10,000 paradises Allah had opened on just one milad for the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And that distribute these amongst your miladis, the ones whom love you, madani people whom love you. That these paradises I gave to you, you give to your ashiqeen. What must be in those paradises and in those realities? That even only I said, thank you very much for all those, all we want is to be in the presence of His holy face, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim, that unzul halana wa ishfalana. Grant your nazar and your light upon my reality, and that's the greatest. And that keep my forehead at your feet. Under your holy qadam, under your holy support, don't let shaitan to take me here and take me there. And then nobody invited me and nobody called me to this way. My life was struggling on how to be of service. Think of ways from myself on how to serve, how to do. If you're waiting for a phone call from somebody to tell you to rise up and be of service, you must have thought of you're at work. This is not work, this is ishq and love. When you're at work you get a call from your boss that, please do this because you're getting paid. But we don't wait for phone calls. We come out of our, our way to say, how can I be of service, what can I do? And many people have been emailing, what type of khidmat, what kind of service can we do? Come to your heart and, and do whatever you want. If you work you give, if you have ability you give, if you can write you write, anything that we can do because that khidmat, that service grants the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad And it gives a flavour to our life. And that's just a, a brief reminder before we start these holy nights and these holy realities and we pray that Allah to open the immensity, immensity of the lights as the dunya is dying and it's on its last breath. What type of gifts Allah giving to these ashiqeen? What type of realities will be emanating from their heart and from their soul as a means of Divinely grace, Divinely protection and Divinely rewards? That in the height of, of the badness of dunya there are people whom have this ishq and this love for Divinely Presence, for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad It's immense but its key is good manners. The one whom loses their manners they lost everything. Allah cares nothing for amal if it has no manners in it. Allah's what excited about somebody's salah and that all your life you did all these things but in the end you have bad manners, well that goes to teach something different about you. If all your life you say you did something and at this point you have bad manners, 
means that all you did was worthless. It didn't change you. You know, we tell all the time, this is our life. If you go to come person, ah, I've been praying all my life, you don't have to teach me anything. I say, but wait, such an angry person. Your salah never changed you? Your zakah didn't clean you from this, this character that you have? So you must not have been praying correctly. For if Allah accepts your action, accepts your amal, He grants you ikhlas and sincerity. When Allah accepts your service, accepts you cry at night saying, Ya Rabbi I'm a hypocrite that I'm trying to make myself pious and I have these characteristics. Nobody's perfect, nobody's saying this is a path of perfection. But when we do wrong we immediately recognize the wrong, we reach out to, to reconcile and come against ourselves with bad character, step on myself because myself is not important, the pride of myself is definitely not important. I step upon myself and ask for Allah's maghfirah and tawbah and Allah is very happy with that. For if people did not sin on this earth He would have made a new earth filled with sinners for they could sin and Allah would forgive them. Allah didn't want angels from us, He would have made us angels. So the system is that Allah wants us to ask for forgiveness. When we ask for forgiveness then we should be growing. If all these years praying, doing and all these things there must have been deficit in it or fasting. Everybody has these amas but how come it doesn't help them from their anger, their, their rage, their ability to control their mouth. Everybody has a right to be upset but then you make your tawbah and you come down immediately and you control the bad characteristics and that's tariqah. And if not then the servant has to look to themselves that, how come I'm not changing? <clears throat> Is my amal not being accepted and my actions are not being accepted? For if Allah accepts them He makes the servant to be sincere. Sincerity means the qalb is shun khushya, their heart has a khushya. They have a fear of Allah They know when they did something wrong and they cry. And they feel immense remorse and as a result Allah loves them and makes all of their sensitivity and their humility. And people have witnessed whom, who've seen their shaykh how the shaykh is humbled in front of other shaykhs and they sit on the floor, somebody doesn't offer them a chair when they go to visit them and sat them on the floor, is there no problem? They bring themselves to be nothing, that's not a problem. But when pride and arrogance enters into someone and they feel that they should be respected, this is a sickness that enters within people. Why should you be respected? Who are you? You came to be nothing on this path. But we said the level of the ego is the ego begins to think you're something, you see something, you feel something, you therefore should be respected. And that's a big drop. Only respect for Allah is the servant who is humble and nothing and doesn't expect anything, doesn't look for anything and not respect from people. They look for respect from Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad and that respect is Allah granting sincerity. Their hearts open, they begin to draw close into the reality and that's all that they wanted. Is that the world crush and say what they want because I'm not in charge of that. But if Allah happy with the crushing and Prophet happy with the crushing that's all that matters is to draw close to the Divinely Presence. We pray that Allah grant us these lights of Rabbil Ameen. <coughs> and begin to dress us from these lights and give for us a, a writing in our hisab for the best of actions to be of service and live a life of service in the way of this reality, the way of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah dress us, bless us and forgive those whom do wrong and have bad character and that they recalibrate and regain themselves of who they're dealing with. Ameen. If the one that you deal with is so humble that you don't know who he is 
and you open your mouth in a bad way, you are going to be burned. You are burned here and in the hereafter. That's not something easy. It's their grace and their forgiveness that they forgive people who do bad against them because Allah taught them to be humble. They're like carpets, you step on them, they don't say anything to you. But Allah doesn't forget. He's the best of those to keep hisab. And it's the shaykhs teaching that they cry and when you see them crying it's because they've seen visions of difficulty upon their students. They've seen difficulty and visions of all sorts of difficulties that are coming upon the earth. And when they see that difficulty they cry to Allah that, how are we going to get through this type of difficulty? But this is a school of immense manners because of their proximity to the love and to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And we don't know what amal, if it angers Allah they shut the door on that and it become distant from your heart forever. And you think you became clever and say, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do this. And you think you cut them, you cut the group, you cut the shaykh, you cut yourself. The shaykh you can never reach, you don't have a scissor strong enough to cut a shaykh. His connection with Prophet secure. When you distance yourself from awliya and the awliya around you and dealing with you and reaching to you, shaitan make you feel that you cut yourself go, like you're the one balloon going up and he's going down. You know like your car kind of like rolling because you took your foot off the brake, you think the other car is moving. No you're rolling and that's shaitan's doing. And that the shaykh is like a rocket shooting but you're going the reverse direction. That's why then the tariqah comes to teach the manners, regain yourself. That who do you think you're dealing with? That keep yourself connected, keep yourself with good manners and step upon your own bad characteristic, not stepping upon the shaykh. We pray that Allah give us this understanding as we go deep into the reality of Rabbul Awal, its lights and its blessings. And the tariqah is based on the best of manners, keeping good character, good manners. We pray that Allah grant us these manners, grant us that sincerity for the sake of the love and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.